hi faves welcome to my youtube channel today we're making baked fish rolls let's make it together in your flour you're going to add some baking powder some salt and some butter you're going to use your hands to gently mix this together until it forms a crumbly texture i would prefer you use both hands so that you can ensure that the butter is well incorporated into the flour Once you get a texture like this, it means it is ready. You're going to gently add your water to this and combine. Once your dough is made, set it aside and now let's make the filling. You don't want to over knead this. Once it looks like this, just keep it aside and let's make the filling. Now you're going to get some fish. I'm using titles. You can use shower if that's what you have. You're going to season your fish with some onions, some seasoning powder, some salt, water. You're going to boil this and let it soften, more like you're cooking fish. Once you realize that your fish is ready, you take it out of the pot and you will gently remove the bones and flake it. Once you get something like this, you want to keep mashing it until it turns to a really mashed flake. In a pan, you want to add some onions and you want to fry the onions for some time. Once your onions is well fried, you are going to add your grated carrot. You are still going to be using chili pepper, you can use fresh pepper if that's what you prefer, just a little. You add some salt, you add some seasoning and you give this a good mix together. Next up you are going to add your green bell pepper chopped, your flaked fish. And you are going to give this a good mix it already looks so yum but we're still trying to build up the flavor so it's not over until it is over if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my youtube channel if you are a returning subscriber welcome thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos i truly appreciate so yes you're just going to continue to mix this until it is well combined Now I'm going to finally go in with some spring onions as a final ingredient. This is the final ingredient that we'll be adding to this. You're just going to mix all of that into that and it is ready. Now let's make our fish roll. You're going to flour your surface. I have cut my dough into three parts. I'm going to mold with my hand gently to form a circle and I'm going to roll this out. Once I get my desired thickness, I'm going to chop out the excesses and now it's time for us to add our filling. I'm going to add my filling in a straight line to ensure that my work is easier. Now I'm 
going to roll please pay attention to the way i am rolling this fish roll if you roll like this your filling will not pop out of the fish roll so you're gently going to cover it and push it to the back gently don't be too hard with that so you don't cut your door i'm going to continue to roll like that until i get my desired thickness yes so i'm just going to roll my fish roll that's why it's called fish roll right you need to roll it <laughs> it's more like making fish roll in a sausage you get in a sausage like format Once I get my thickness, my desired thickness, I'm going to cut out the excess and set it aside. I'm going to use a wet brush to gently damp the edges of the fish roll so as to seal it. You want to seal your dough with this method and this is already ready. Now I'm going to cut out the edges to remove the excesses or the imperfections and I'm going to be cutting this to my desired length. You can make mini fish rolls if you want but I prefer this length Yeah. So this is it and I'm going to crack an egg open and whisk it and this is called the egg wash. I'll gently apply this over my fish rolls and this is to give it a glossy golden look when it is ready i want it to look glossy golden and very you know yum so i'm just going to allow i'm just going to add the egg wash on top of the pastry that i have made Once I am done with this, I would bake at 180 for about 15 minutes in a preheated oven. This is what I have. I'm just going to allow this to bake. And our fish roll is ready. Super delicious, super yum. You should definitely try this recipe. Believe. Thank you. Bye.